considering self-employment, starting your own business, or wanting to become self-employed? If so, then watch and listen to this presentation in its entirety, for you never know, it could quite literally change your life. Unlike other books on the subject of starting your own business and becoming self-employed, which tend to be written about and focus on market research, business plans, taxation, technology, accounting and bookkeeping, all the logical, commercial and financial aspects of starting and running your own business. The book, Considering Self-Employment, covers none of that, no. So what can a book called Considering Self-Employment be about if it includes none of the usual stuff? What about all the emotional issues, challenges and obstacles that we have to face in thinking about and becoming self-employed? We're not usually conscious of most of our defences, excuses or even our life's purpose. We need to identify our fears, doubts, worries and reservations about becoming self-employed and overcome them. How do you decide how much time and energy to give to different aspects of your life and business? What do we do when we're trying to juggle home life with starting a business when it becomes hard, difficult and stressful? You probably know what your talents, skills, gifts and strengths are. But what about your weaknesses, your values and the values of your prospective customers? And how do you get the work-life balance right? Considering self-employment helps you to identify your greatest blocks, challenges and energy drainers. You need to know how to keep optimum energy levels if you're planning to become self-employed and running your own business. Many people worry about money, often becoming consumed about money worries, such as how to raise the startup capital, how to survive in the early stages of starting a business and how to pay bills or pay themselves. With considering self-employment, you will learn the true power of money and the value that you place on it. More importantly, you'll learn about the true value that others place in your knowledge, skills and talent. Working for yourself also means thinking of others and learning how to stop being defensive, making excuses and how to be truly open and honest with yourself and those close to you. You need to recognise the value you offer others and overcome fears, doubts and worries about getting paid your true worth and the value that you represent. Considering self-employment reveals how. You don't need to rely on paid advisors all the time, for many of the answers that you seek can and will be found in the quiet moments away from the cut and thrust of all your commercial activities. Many people have blocks and hang-ups talking about money or asking for money, especially when it's due for work already done. You will see real-life examples of others trying to manipulate and make excuses for not wanting to pay what they already owe. The ability to keep going when the chips are down is an essential aspect of working for yourself, and considering self-employment reveals some powerful, insightful, motivational ways to keep your inner fire alive. Leads are the lifeblood of any business. You will learn what your life purpose is, the value you offer and the real reason why others will want to seek you out for who you are and what you offer. And having recognised the value of what you do offer and the impact of their own pains, needs, frustrations and problems, clients and customers will want to pay you what you're really worth. Considering self-employment helps you to understand the energy dynamics between you and others and how you can leverage this to your advantage, even in the most awkward of moments. What you do not want is hypothetical textbook management theory to overwhelm you and hold you back, getting you more frustrated as you try to address each of the issues, challenges and obstacles that lay in front of you. No. What you do want and need are concepts, techniques and principles that you can apply immediately to help you get closer to achieving your personal goals and objectives and making your business a success. So, if you are at crossroads or 
if you feel undervalued or unappreciated in your present job? Do you do a job that you hate? Do you work for a boss that you don't like? Or have you recently been fired or made redundant? Are you currently unemployed? Or have you recently left school, college or university? Do you dream of success and being your own boss? If so, then the book Considering Self-Employment may just be able to help. More so if you've come up with a brilliant idea or if you've simply spotted a gap in the market or created a new opportunity. Have you created a new product or want to provide a service to do the jobs that other people don't want to do? Perhaps you're passionate about a hobby or pastime and want to turn that into a business. If so, then considering self-employment can definitely help. Considering self-employment will help you to discover your life purpose, fulfill your destiny, overcome all issues, challenges and obstacles to achieve your goals and leave a legacy. It's a thought-provoking, poignant and transformational guidebook that helps you to identify, pursue and profit from your life's purpose, helping others with what you enjoy and do best. It's very powerful, containing lots of exercises, activities and real-life examples to challenge your thinking and beliefs regarding you, your present circumstances, your self-worth and how to achieve success. The practical concepts, techniques and principles in the book are profound, uncommon solutions for common, everyday problems. You will be amazed at how effective they really are. You will discover powerful, little-known concepts and techniques that can be applied to any personal or commercial problem, issue or challenge to give you the breakthrough you desire. The book Considering Self-Employment will enable you to overcome and address self-limiting beliefs, your weaknesses, doubts and reservations that you may have about becoming self-employed and starting your own business, regrets of the past, worries and fears about starting, running and managing and growing a business. You will overcome procrastination about becoming self-employed and you'll stop making excuses and putting things off. You'll be able to clarify and confirm what you're really good at, what you really enjoy doing and why others will pay you what you're really worth. You'll be able to identify your vision and purpose, the resistance that's holding you back and preventing you from taking the steps to start your own business and live the lifestyle you want. You'll discover your life's purpose and how to profit from it. Considering Self-Employment was written by Elsa B. Smith, the Intuition Coach, and myself, Fraser Hay, the Venture Catalyst. So, if you're considering self-employment, you want clarity, vision and purpose, if you want confidence, progress and results working for yourself and help, guidance and support without having to rely on or become dependent on paying expensive fees to a string of professional advisors, then get your copy of Considering Self-Employment today. Click on the link below or visit www.consideringselfemployment.com.